Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Monday the 6th. And been working on the old Dodge here a little bit. Got my new <clears throat> Prospector emblem on. I replaced this tail light over here with the correct one that had the chrome around it. Got my uh, authentic metal Lincoln Mercury Dodge emblem put back on. Still working on the dash here. I've got the wiring mostly back together. Uh, fix this harness, put this new harness in and everything, but I've still got pretty much a part of them. Uh, I'm gonna swap out the instrument cluster and do some other things before I put it all back together. I'm gonna end up missing a, a harness uh, to run the light in that climate control thing there so I gotta do that but I come along with it and I told you thinking about putting another carburetor on this truck and I've come to the decision that I'm gonna put a thermoquad on it so I got one singled out on eBay that I've been watching and uh, I got my air cleaner repainted got the valve covers cleaned and painted and all that so I'm just going to put it back together it's just looking nice and stock I'm just kind of like I said I'm not really up on the um, something like that I'm not really up on the custom look custom valve and all that I just like a sedate look on stuff I just you know it's just a truck so yeah that's what I'm going to do with that but I want to talk a little bit about something that's been bothering me for quite a while and I know that just me talking about it's not ever going to change anything, but, uh, you know, a lot of people like old cars, and they want to mess with them, cars and trucks, buses, tractors, whatever it is, and uh, these people, they got good intentions, they buy stuff, and they tend to fix it up, and, and uh, get it running, driving, whatever, and I think people sometimes get in above their head really quick and they they buy something they don't have the skill or the time or the money to to, to do and it turns into a basket case they got a car that's torn apart and then you know what do you do with it a lot of times people end up just selling the thing off as a basket case, you know, and you always see the ads for stuff like that They say the same thing. They say, well, I've just lost interest, or I don't have time, or I don't have money anymore. <clears throat> well, here's the thing, guys. It's never going to change that to work on old cars or trucks or whatever, you have to have those things. You have to have time to do it. You have to have money to do it, and you have to have motivation to do it. If you don't have all three of those, you're going you're gonna to fail, you know? Don't kid yourself. You know, my buddy up there that I, I kind of rag on a little bit, which he deserves it. He's my buddy, but, you know, when he bought that, or got that Catalina from me, he promised me, he said, you're not, you're not going to believe this car. You're going to, he said, you won't recognize it in a year. You know, he started out strong on it, and he's, you know, that's classic thing people do. They, they go into it wide open and tear everything apart, you know, and, then there it sits and that can be anything not just him it's a lot of people do that somebody said in a post a while ago i was looking on the internet on my a body forum they said uh guy's looking at a car you know and he's saying well saying i, I want to go look at such and such car but here's some pictures of it, it says two hours away you know and I, i'll just see what you think about it before i go look at it and everybody's getting on to him they're saying well you know dude it's two hours if you're serious about this for one thing, get in your car and go look at it. Don't just think about it. That's that's the first thing. And the guy on later down the thread there, he says, he says, here's the thing, man. He says, if you don't have time to go look at it, when in the world are you going to have time to even work on it? And I thought, man, I said, so many people need to read that. That's that is truer words have never been spoken. And I see that everywhere. I mean, some of my subscriptions are like that. You know, I'm not like, like I said, guys. I'm not picking on anybody. Don't take it that like that. But it's just kind of a, a true statement that sometimes people 
get things and they have good intentions and they I guess you know they, everybody says well they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that and they never do it stuff just sits and so you know I don't have a lot of time myself and I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm doing so much more than anybody else is I'm not but I try to pick at things like every day like I've got some some little bit of work to do today also on this and then tomorrow evening I'll pick at something else and you know I may do some painting or cleaning or something like that but I try to pick away at something every day you know I'm not I don't you know I don't know what to say about it I mean it's just that's it's a shame that that happens because I think so many nice cars and trucks that could have simply been fixed up and got running simply just to drive and enjoy them have been victimized by people that you know they either they don't know their own limitations or you know some people some people you know have such an outlandish idea of what restoring a car ought to be you know they shoot for the moon and they don't have money or time to shoot for the moon you know be realistic if you're going to get an old car or truck like this thing i'm not trying to fix this truck up like a show car i'm not going to spend two thousand dollars painting it i'm not going to rebuild a new engine for it I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to get the stupid thing running so I can use it. It is running, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just tweaking it. You know, I get so frustrated with that, and I wish people wouldn't do that. Have a, have a, you know, even if it disappoints you to admit it, admit it. If you don't have time, or you don't have money, or you don't have you know, I don't know what to say about the motivation thing. Everybody's going to say, well, i got plenty of motivation. Yeah, I want to do it. Well, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, who my hero is, my personal hero right now, and that is on YouTube, is Musty One. I watch all his videos, and that guy, he's even older than I am, by about six or seven years, and that guy just knocks him out. He's all the time working on something. He's got, I think he's got his own business repairing things, but, you know, he's just never slacking, and that's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm fully of the opinion that to get things done, you got to get it done. you got to get out here and do it, man. Don't just sit in the house and think about it or look at catalogs or, shop online or think about it some more watch tv or you know that's 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 a joke it really is i mean i'm not trying like i said i'm not trying to be mean to anybody but you know the truth needs to be spoken sometimes and that's about all there is to that uh on a little bit lighter note i'm just going to tell you that the old chev is gone sold it this afternoon so this this old dude here is gonna have to be my truck for a while probably for a good while because I'm I don't want to go back in debt for anything else this is a neat old truck and I'm gonna just uh, finish up with it here shortly and get her on the road get her done so yeah if you haven't checked out musty one's channel you need to go check him out he's pretty awesome uh, things he he builds a lot of stuff and Works on all kinds of stuff. Just a really uh, uh, interesting and um, educational channel. It's His name is M-U-S-T-I-E-1, the number one. It's all one word. So just, he's in my subscriptions if you want to go that route, but just check him out. And uh, so, yeah, guys. And also as a side, I don't normally single people out. Like I said, I wasn't going to. And don't take this is a mean thing i'm not a mean person but uh there is one person i would like to uh call out for one and that is brian uh with the 72 mustang when are we gonna get some more videos on it brian you've been after me all the time i want to see your car now see more of it come on come on come on let's go let's go and there's a guy with a certain uh, self, uh, 64 Savoy right here, and that's for him either. I don't know if he's okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> So, yeah, guys, we're all in this together. We'll make it. So, have you seen enough of this truck now since I've walked around it like two or three times? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go turn the camera off. My poor old camera has been having some issues with it. I'd like to get a new high definition camera. Maybe I'll see if I got enough pennies saved up to buy one. All right, dudes. Well, everybody have a good evening and don't work too hard this week and stay warm and all that good stuff. And thanks again for watching. Comment, subscribe. Good or bad, comments, all welcome. Have a good one.